Welcome to episode 8 of Plant Mom Diary. Today we are going to be adding blood and bone meal to our sunflowers. This one is bone meal, it's good source of phosphorus. And then this one is blood meal, it's a good source of nitrogen. So this is 14 So I'm guessing this is all nitrogen. This one is 217 so I'm not sure what that means. Let me give us something here. Let's see. We got uh, nitrogen, calcium, and phosphate in this one. This one is like a food. Here it says so if I want to have tablespoons per pot for best results, mix into the soil and water. This one goes on. Okay, I'm gonna spread six cups per 100 square feet. Apply. I just went heavy feet, and I'm sorry. Don't worry about that. Right here for gardens, trees, and potted plants. About three cups per square foot of oil, half a tablespoon per plant near drip line for best results. Water in. Okay, so I'm gonna apply every two or three months during growing season. some to the ones that I have in the long bed as well and I just put some blood meal around the drip lines and now I'm watering it just like I did the ones on the porch so yeah we're gonna water this in because my babies was acting weird so they were looking a little wilty and kind of like puny so I read somewhere that they needed some nitrogen, so I found this blood meal which smells absolutely disgusting. And now that I know what blood meal is, I will not be buying any more. But um, in its defense, it did work, so I am putting it on them to kind of give them some life because they are just looking pitiful. So you will never guess what happened oh my god so apparently some cat smelled the bone meal and the blood meal and thought that it was a feast up here waiting for them so they came up here and tore this up i had started cleaning it before i recorded this video so this is not even what it was looking like now they left these plants alone but y'all just wait until i show y'all what they did to my other plants Okay, this one's still struggling, and the other plants, they're still standing up, so you know, check out my dear, look at this, all that wasted, just tore through my little bag, but oh, uh, look, 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 they did not my stuff over, they didn't pull flowers, roots out all out the dirt oh my goodness looking for food so right now i just have the blood meal on here so i'm definitely gonna come back and put some of the bone meal on top of it to kind of get rid of some of that smell i'm gonna repot my um sunflowers that the cat ripped up out of the plant i mean out of the soil look at um yeah i'm gonna fix this whatever's still living we definitely gonna put it back in the pot and let it live and then whatever's gone we just gonna let it go oh lord just took my little bit up so yeah anyway 
let's continue to watch the progress of the bone meal and the, the uh, blood meal because I definitely was pleased so I want you to stay tuned okay <laughs> look at this So like I said, I went and put some bone meal on top of the blood meal to kind of um, hide the smell and to kind of offset the nitrogen. So I put way too much of the blood meal and I got some burns on my sunflowers. So I added the bone meal on there to kind of, um, kind of help the plant combat the burn that's coming from the excess nitrogen. So I'm so sorry so far you see all the burn marks on there. However, I am going to prune the leaves off that have any burns on them. So this one is still struggling. I think we got some root rot going on. Look at this one, it's burnt up. So we just don't cut off the burns and then we're gonna allow the rest of the flower to thrive. These are still struggling. It's something to ate that and look at this thing right in the front, look, no roots. Just straight up root right over here. So yes. <clears throat> I am going to, let's see, get rid of these. They got some roots on them though. But we just gonna go ahead and let them go. And then, we're gonna let these sauces back here. I'm gonna prune them and get them nice and neat, and then we're gonna let them do what it do. Look at that baby in the back, puny. Root rot, no roots. Okay. This plant is still struggling. Still struggling. It's not good. All right. This one is struggling. <laughs> this one is hella struggling. So I'm going to be honest with you. I think I'm going to excite who you are on now. I don't want that to mess with the other plants. So we're just gonna go ahead and let that one go. Um, this one's going nice and tall. The wait for you to stand up for a while. And look, ooh. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. struggling still. I'm leaving my alone. I'm leaving my alone too. Really then I got my six and maybe. Okay, this one looks a little better. 
still a little discolored, but it ain't dead. And then this, my baby, is doing great. And then this part is still struggling. So I don't know if it's over for it, but ooh, yeah, that look bad. I don't know about this one, y'all. I might have to let this one go too. I'm gonna cut all that off and see what happens. All the ones that are struggling off and see if it'll give the rest of the plant more energy. Okay, let's see if I step up. Ooh, if I cut this off, what's gonna happen? <laughs> I ain't no damn plan, but we're gonna see what happens. Alright. The experiment continues. Alright, so today we're gonna water these with some regular fertilizer. Everybody looking good. We got some people leaning. These ones still look a little eh. I'm just letting the plant. This one is starting to brown on the leaves, so I'm going to cut those off, and then we're going to add some blow men fertilizers here. Everybody looking good, though. Looking good, looking great, so stay tuned to see them bloom.